I suppose it's time to quit watching Dutch and get busy. <laughs> I need to get busy. All right, let's turn this TV off. So I get my motivation from a lot of people, and uh, Dutch, I just think he's very entertaining, and uh, I do and have learned some stuff from him, especially when he was doing all of his garden stuff, but uh, he is among probably the top 10 people that I watch and learn from on YouTube, so I hope that you can find something useful and something fun uh, with my videos. If I get a smile out of you, then that's just been worth doing YouTube for. Hey everybody, it's time to go see if I have some germination on the seeds that I planted. Oh, not quite seven days ago. Let's go take a look. I see some green. Oh my goodness, look at all that arugula. And I got one cauliflower. Let's see. Cauliflower. There it is. And I got some broccoli. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. Yes. Things that I've never grown before. And at least they germinated. If I if I don't get them to full plant, you know what? I'm still happy because they germinated. So broccoli, cauliflower, and arugula. All from seed. <laughs> I'm enjoying life. <laughs> so I had to roll up the sides a little bit on the greenhouse because I was getting really hot. <laughs> what a great thing to be able to say. Be sure and stay tuned because I'm going to be telling more of the myth and legend of the water spider. Well, see you everybody. So I'm back in the greenhouse. Today is March the 2nd and I'm going to check on my seeds that I got started but I wanted to show you this awesome deal that I come across the other day. This entire box is full of these long stem rose containers. Look at the height on those, you guys. These are gonna be great for starting seeds. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna to fill up about 13 of them and most of them are gonna be for my herb garden that I'm so excited about. And then some of them that aren't frost hardy and they, they can't get cold, I'm gonna be uh, filling them up anyway, but I'm gonna be taking them in the house. But for the most part, all of these are gonna be staying outside here in the greenhouse to get germinated. I can't wait to show you what all I've put in these long stem rose containers. Oh, let me show you something else that I got. I can't wait to put flowers in these. Are those not the cutest canoes? I'm going to be telling some more of the water spider story so be sure and watch throughout the video it's time for some more story about the water spider and the first fire if you missed the first part of it be sure and go back and check out last Thursday's video where the raven went over and lots of things happened to him and so they had to ask for more volunteers and this time two white snakes volunteered to go over and get the fire the little racer and the tree climber so that's where we're gonna start off the little racer said the raven tried to crawl down from the top let's try from the bottom so both snakes so both snakes entered through a hole at the base of the roots the fire was so intense that they soon became lost. The tree climber went up, 
feeling all the smoke and the soot crawl up his scales, making him climb faster and faster. The little racer became so confused at the bottom that he darted to and fro, going back and forth in the ashes and the embers, before finally finding his way out through the top of the tree. Both swam back to the council, and again all the animals were surprised at how dark they had become. They coughed and said they would not go after the fire. The bear turned to the council and said, Who wishes to try next? This time, the screech owl said he would try, and so he flew off to the island. Now the screech owl had been asleep during most of the council. He had heard what had happened to the snakes, but was unaware of what had happened to the raven. So when the screech owl landed on the sycamore tree, he stuck his head in a knot of the tree, embers again sparking and popping and blinding him getting his head stuck in the tree. He bounced back and forth, trying to get his head out. Finally doing so, he made his way back to the council. With ashes around the owl's now orange eyes, the bear turned again and said, Who wishes to go next? This time, no one wanted to go. Everyone was afraid of the fire. Okay, so the things I'll be planting, fever few, aster, thyme, thyme and rosemary are actually gonna go in one of my big containers over here, along with some carrots over there. I have some calendula, the type of calendula that is uh, medicinal. I also have anise hip hyssop. That's for my herb garden, also medicinal. Echinacea, lemon balm, common yarrow. Those would be going in my herb garden as well for medicinal purposes. Arugula, chamomile will go in my herb garden. Nasturtiums. Little tip about nasturtiums in case you never knew. You are supposed to germinate those in the dark. So I guess they're kind of like carrots, where you plant them and then you cover them up for a little while. And then after, I don't know, 10, 12 days, you go out and look and they should have germinated. Didn't never know that before. Spinach. I had no luck last year with spinach that people gave me seeds to, so I bought some fresh. Hopefully I'll be able to get some spinach. Common sage is gonna go in one of my red containers by my kitchen and lavender will go in my medicinal garden so i'm going to get busy and plant these and label all the tops and just see what happens and as always i want you guys to go out and enjoy life Calendula seeds. Have you ever seen any? It's like a half a half a moon shape. Well, guess who volunteers to go? That's right, the water spot, the water spider. This time, no one wanted to go, but everyone was afraid. And then a small voice said, "I will try." The bear looked down at his feet and saw the little water spider. The animals began to chuckle and to laugh. The bear, smiling, said, You're too small. How can you get the fire? And the spider said, Let me try. And all the animals agreed, Let her try. So the little spider dove into the water and swam to the island. 
Now this is not a little spider that skirts across the top of the water, but the water spider that swims underneath. And so she came out near the roots of the sycamore tree where the snakes had entered. But knowing what happened to the snakes, she had a different plan. And you guys will find out what happens next Thursday. So stay tuned.